Hey guys. Um, so today I'm going to do my like get on ready with me or my like skincare routine. So I'm gonna start by putting my hair up. We're about to go from like a five to a minus ten. Okay, so I'm gonna just remove my eyelashes first before we do anything. These were the um or these are the lashes from Holy Grail. These are the um wispies ones. Just put them back in their packets. So I'm just gonna run like because I have like a few different products that I like to use and switch it up. So I'm just gonna run you through each thing. So if I'm wearing makeup, this is what I'll do first. So usually I would use like my cellar water or like a makeup wipe or something, but I've recently got um, the two new Garnier things. So one is the two-in-one express eye makeup remover, which is good because I need something like specifically for my eyes because they are so sensitive. And then the other one is the micellar oil infused cleansing water, which is for your, to get rid of makeup. So I'm gonna start off with the eye one and shake it up because it's got like the oil in it. So I put it, it like sits at the top and then you shake it up and it's like so I'm gonna take it on a cotton round. I'm using the Swisters ones. These actually feel like so like heavy duty. Like I had some other ones from Kmart and they just like felt like like tissue. Whereas these kind of feel like heavy duty. Okay, so I'm just yeah gonna start by the um, eye makeup removal one and just pour some on a cotton round. I'm just gonna hold it on my eye for a few seconds to let it soak. Just dry. So it's like that. So I'll just leave it like that for a few minutes. And I'm just gonna do the other eye. I feel so out of my element here. Like I'm so used to talking about like putting products on my face and now I feel weird. Like showing you how to take them off. I'm like, this is odd. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the other micellar water and just put a, that on a cotton round as well. Oops, I just squirted it all over my desk. And I'm just gonna start wiping all over my face just giving it like a quick like wipe over it smells really nice actually it's like this marcella water stuff that. Yeah. so now we have like the bulk of my makeup off so this is where i would start my normal routine like if i wasn't wearing makeup like if i went to the bathroom like to have a shower or whatever so i always do two cleansers so I will always use my pre-cleanse from Dermalogica first this is really good for removing makeup you just rub it all over dry well it's not dry because it's oil but like you rub it all over first and you just wet your hands got a bucket of water so then you just wet your hands and then like um what do you call it like you you know like foam it up kind of thing I'm use some of those cotton rounds to wipe them up So you can already see that it got heaps of that off as well and you can use pre-cleanse on your eyes and stuff as well it's good because it's so oily it's really good at breaking down all the tough stuff on your eyes so i have a couple of cleansers that i really like using my favorite one is probably my tribe one but i've actually run out of that at the moment so yeah i usually have three i usually have my tribe one this is how it looks and then i've got my sukin one and then i also have my soap and glory one as well but yeah as I said my tribe one is empty so I'm gonna use my Sukin one today this is the nourishing cream cleanser I like this one because it's quite gentle on my skin so yeah you just rub that all over it really doesn't feel like a cleanser at all because it's so like lightweight and like it's like a cream but it does a good job so I'm just gonna do the same with my hands and then start to scrub that off and I'm just gonna get some more cotton rounds to scrub my face so next is exfoliant. So the two exfoliators I like using are my sand and sky one and also my tribe tribe one. So the tribe one is like a powder and you just mix it with water and then put it over your face. And this one is a it's like the clay exfoliator. So I'm gonna use this one today. So what you do is you put it on your skin and massage it for a few minutes like for a couple of seconds, like 30 seconds or so, and then you leave it to sit for five minutes and then you wash it off so usually I'll, i will do my i'll take my makeup off i'll cleanse my face and i'll exfoliate then i'll have a shower and then after i get out the shower is when i'll do my mask my moisturizer and all that kind of stuff that's just the way i like doing it but it's obviously personal preference so yeah i'm just going to put this on now and it also says if you have sensitive skin 
to not like massage this into your face like to just let it sit there basically because it is quite abrasive like I don't use this every day I use it probably once a week so it helps to get off like dead skin and all that kind of stuff if you're using it every day it will probably be quite bad for your skin as it would strip it way too much so I'm just gonna let that sit for five minutes and then I'll be back okay so this is how it's looking now it's all dried it's been a few minutes so I'm just going to take this off. I should have done this off camera because it's going to take a while. Okay, so now it's time for the mask. So my favourites are the Glam Glow Insta Mud and the Sand and Sky Pink Clay, Australian Pink Clay Mask. So I think I'm going to use this one today just to fit in with the Sand and Sky theme. I don't have a mask brush with me, so I'm just going to use my finger. It smells like cherry lollies and I hate cherry anything scented. Anything cherry scented, it makes me like want to vomit. So when I have to put this on, I'm like, which sucks because I love this mask so much, but it just smells so terrible to me. So I haven't done a very good job, but it'll do. So I think I need to leave this one on for 15 minutes as well. I mean, not as well, so like, I need to leave this one on for 15 minutes. I'll do that. And then when it's dry, I'll come back and take it off. Okay, so this is how the mask looks now that it's dry. So I'm just gonna take this off. It scares me so much having water around my, my camera and my microphone and my phone and my laptop. So now um, the next thing is I will put on this Sukin certified rose hip oil. I've still got a bit of mask on me, oops. I'll just drip some of this on my face. Just rub that in. So then I have a few moisturizers. So I have the two tribe ones. I have the night one, which um, is good for hydrating. And then I also have the day one, which has the SPF in it. Usually um, I don't, like all of my skincare routine happens of a, morning, um, of a night. So I don't usually use the um, moisturizer with the SPF in it. But what I have been doing lately is um, using my Bondi Sands SPF 50 sunscreen on my face every morning. Um, and then I, for moisturizer, I also have the Sukin Hydrating Day Cream. So that's what I'm going to use today. And then after that, I have a few sprays that I'll use. So I either use one of the Mario Badescu ones or one of, or I have the um, Body Shop one. And I also have a Tarte one that I like, but today I'm just going to use this Body Shop one. This is just good for hydrating. And it smells amazing, it's strawberry. And then for lips, I'll go in with a lip scrub. I love the Jeffree Star ones. This one is in the flavor watermelon gum, and it tastes amazing. So this just helps to exfoliate and get rid of all the dry skin and stuff on your lips. Then after that, I like to go in with my Tarte. These are the, um, oh, what are they called? It's like the, they're like the, called like the H2O Quench or something. And I like a tinted lip oil. So I'll put this on first that and then I'll either use my Frank Body Lip Balm or one of the Body Shop Lip Balms. Um, I have like six different Body Shop Lip Balms so I'm trying to get through them at the moment. So I'll use this one today and this is in the flavour Satsumi Shimmer. So that's how my face looks after my skincare routine. I love all of the skincare products that I use. I think they're all amazing. Um, and I really like the fact that I have a few different ones so I can swap them in and out. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry if I'm a bit awkward. <laughs> I feel I feel so weird. Like, I don't know, like talking about skincare because I guess it's just like, I'm usually always about makeup like, and I don't really talk about skincare too much. So um, I don't know, I feel like a bit out of my element. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.